Jonah, I wanted to get your thoughts on Blue Sky getting a lot more attention. And it's been underreported, but Mastodon as well. There seems to be a lot of people moving away from X, Twitter. Um, not a lot. Like, I think X and Twitter are still very dominant, and it's by far still the most popular platform. But there has been a big spike recently for Blue Sky and Mastodon. And a lot of people seem to be thinking that Ma like Blue Sky is like a better solution than Mastodon, which I don't agree with. But a lot of people are going there before Mastodon. I just want to get your thoughts because for people who don't know, uh, Jonah hosts his own Mastodon server. He's very active on Mastodon, a lot more than I am. Um, so I know you're very biased. Well, I don't know if I'm that active on Mastodon either, but um, <laughs> I, I do like it the most out of all of these so far. It Have you been using Blue Sky more at all yourself? So I don't... When I, I I've seen any more posts from Tech War. No, there have been. <laughs> um, when I say use, it means I'm uh -huh. using, like I linked it up to our social media management tool and I'm clicking the Blue Sky box to post to now. So I, I don't see. really log in and interact with it much, but I don't really do that with any of our socials because they're kind of a time sink at the moment. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's hard to keep up with all of it. Yeah, it's it's interesting. Blue Sky is definitely picking up and it... Um... Like, like now it seems like there's enough people where if I post something on Blue Sky, for example, which I've done a couple of times, there I actually get engagement, which you didn't really see before compared to like Mastodon, for example. It was so so much less engagement on, on Blue Sky before a few weeks ago. So it does uh, even just like anecdotally from my own perspective seem like it's becoming a lot more popular, especially among uh, the groups of people that I follow myself. And it, it seems fine. It's just... It's a totally different model than Mastodon, for example. So there's a lot of people like praising Blue Sky for being decentralized and, and all that stuff. And it really isn't at the end of the day. Blue Sky, the way that it's architected is basically like it is a single centralized service. And right now it's totally reliant on Blue Sky itself and the app and their relays to function. So while there's like some aspects that you can host yourself, the product is still run by a single company and you don't really know their intentions. And especially like if I think about um, why investors might be interested in a company that takes all of this data from kind of decentralized users and centralizes it all into one single server and app relay as like a single fire host stream of information. I feel like investors are most likely interested in that kind of thing because it would make it easy to grab all, all that content for AI related stuff, um, just getting a lot of data from a lot of users. And so that's something that I worry about a lot with Blue Sky. It seems like that's the most obvious route that they're going to go down for monetization and stuff. And you don't really have any protections against that sort of thing happening. Whereas with services that are more decentralized like Mastodon, it's hard to get like a full feed and a full view of the entire network because everything can be separated off and people can protect their data with with a lot more means compared to blue sky blue sky the 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 benefit of blue sky isn't decentralization as as most people like claim it is it's more that you have the ability to own your data and take it with you to another service and right now the reality is that there's no other services for you to take your data to so if blue sky goes away i think the entire network would just be dead like if it went away tomorrow mm -hmm. but if you think about like five years from now um, if Blue Sky really became popular and then somebody like Elon Musk tried to buy it like they did with Twitter, I think that Blue Sky users do have an advantage of being able to exit the network and join another one really easily built on like Blue Sky's principles. It's something that Blue Sky calls a credible exit from their network, which is that ultimately you don't really have to trust the centralized Blue Sky entity in theory if everything works out well, because some other centralized entity can build a similar service and you can bring all your data over to it. But in both of these scenarios, you're still ultimately relying on some centralized entity or company to run the main network. And you have to choose which one to be on and that kind of thing. So it's not like Mastodon where, like if Mastodon went away, I could keep self-hosting my instance perfectly fine forever and network with other people who are doing that. There's really not an easy way to avoid centralization on blue sky from which is I, which is it's which it's not designed to do so from what i'm understanding from what you're saying it sounds like things like twitter are the most 
Twitter and Facebook and whatnot are the most problematic because they're completely centralized. You're completely dependent on the platform. There really is no migration if you have an issue with the platform. Mastodon, I think, is overall, I think the best example I've seen of decentralization is social media. I haven't seen anything better than Mastodon yet, where um, I've, I think I've migrated my Mastodon account now like three times on the TechLore one. We used to be on, I think, Mastodon.social. We moved to something else, and then now we're on the social.lol. And each time I was able to move to a different server and keep all my followers, and it was super seamless. But in the middle, it sounds like Blue Sky kind of falls in the middle. Blue Sky has aspects of decentralization, so it's not as bad as something like Twitter from this specific perspective. Um, so it sounds like they have some of the selling points of Mastodon, but it's not quite the same level of decentralization. Is that like a good? Yeah, basically the way that Blue Sky technically works is that each user has their own database that is their profile and all their posts and all of their stuff, they contain it. And if you want to self-host your database and have like a copy of all of your data on your own server, you can do that. But the way that Blue Sky, the app, and their central servers works is that it connects to all of these users' individual databases and kind of combines them all together into a single view. Got so it. you're reliant on that single server if you want to do any interactions. It's uh, the database that you have is literally just like a, a copy of your data that you can take to another service if you want, but you have to take it between these already established large centralized relays basically. And they're really, resource intensive to run. So it's not feasible. If you want to like completely self host everything about blue sky, it's not really economically feasible to do so for most people, you're going to be reliant on some centralized single social media company to do pretty much anything on blue sky. Got the it. only advantage that blue sky has is that if that company turns out to be bad, another company could easily pop up and try and take over. And then users can basically vote with their profiles, where, which one they want to support. So you don't necessarily run into the Twitter like situation, but it's not like if, if blue sky failed, for example, and no other company took up the mantle to try and, uh, create an alternative, it, it would basically be dead because there's no way for like a self hoster to really create a viable alternative on their own. Like you could with Mastodon, for example, Mastodon isn't reliant on any central server. Like my Mastodon instance will work forever, no matter what happens to all the other ones, basically. Got it. If that's what I want. So yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I, I, I'm still trying to figure out blue sky. I think everyone kind of is. So I think that basic explanation <laughs> really helps. You just watched a clip from the tech Lore clips channel, which is taken from our main channel tech Lore, where we talk about digital rights, privacy, security, and so much more about tech to give you a better relationship with the technology you use. Check out the main channel over here and also check out maybe another suggested video to learn more.